बिटकॉइन आर्किटेक्चर हियर यू कैन सी द आर्किटेक्चरल डायग्राम ऑफ बिटकॉइन बिटकॉइन इज अ decentralized digital currency without a central bank or single administrator that can be sent from user to user on the peer to peer bitcoin network without the need for uh intermediate uh, uh Uh, intermediaries transactions are verified by network nodes through cryptography and recorded in a public distributed ledger called a blockchain the uh, the cryptocurrency was invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group of people using the name Satoshi uh, Nakamoto The currency began use in 2009 when its implementation was released as open source software Bitcoin with capital B with uh, with uh, capitalization is used when describing the concept of Bitcoin or the entire network itself for example i was learning about the bitcoin protocol today bitcoin with simple b without capitalization is used to describe bitcoins as a unit of account for example i sent 10 bitcoins today it is also often abbreviated BTC or XBT uh, Now we are focusing on blockchain The blockchain is a public record of bitcoin transactions in chronological order The blockchain is shared between all bitcoin users It is used to verify the performance of bitcoin transactions and to prevent double spending here you can see a simplified bitcoin blockchain each full node in the bitcoin network independently stores a blockchain containing only blocks validated by that node when several nodes all have the same blocks in their blockchain they are considered to be in consciousness uh, consensus the validation rules these nodes follow to maintain consensus uh, consensus are called consens uh, consensus rules uh, a block of one or more new transactions is collected into the transaction data part of a block copies of each transactions are hashed and the hashes are then paired hashed paired again and hashed again until a single hash remains the merkle root of a merkle tree the merkle root is stored in the block header each block also stores the hash of previous block header by chaining the blocks together uh, this ensures a transaction cannot be modified without modifying the block that records it and all the following blocks here you can see block 1 header uh it is connected to the hash of the uh, it is connected to the 
block two header uh, here, uh, here inside uh, the block one header you, you can see hash of previous block header Merkle and uh, Merkle root uh, block one transactions are connected to Merkle root in block one header in block two header uh, you here you can see hash of the previous block header and uh, block two header is connected to block three and uh, you can see here Mer uh, Merkle root inside block two header and uh, block two transactions are connected to Merkle root in block two header and here uh, you can see block three header and you can see the hash of previous block header and Merkle root inside block three header and uh, block three transactions are connected to Merkle root uh, in uh, block three header here you can see a, a blockchain architecture diagram explaining how blockchain works there are core uh, there are the core blockchain architecture components uh, uh, node a user or computer within the blockchain architecture is has an independent copy of the whole blockchain ledger uh, transaction small the smallest building block of a blockchain system records information etc that serves as the purpose of blockchain uh, block uh, the data a data structure used for keeping a set of transaction which is distributed to all nodes uh, in the network a chain uh, a sequence of blocks in a specific order and uh, uh, minus a specific nodes which perform the block verification process before adding anything uh, to the block structure uh, uh, and uh, consens uh, consensus consensus protocol a set of rules and arrangement to carry out blockchain operations uh, a new record or transaction within the within the blockchain implies the building of a new block. Uh, here, a new record or, or transaction within the new block within the blockchain implies the building of a new block. Uh, each record is proven and uh, and uh, uh, digitally signed to ensure its uh, genuineness. Before this block is added to the network, it should be verified by the majority of nodes in the system. In this diagram, uh, it is representing blockchain architecture diagram that shows how this actually works in the form of a digital wallet. Let's a uh, closer look. Let's have a closer look at uh, what is a block in blockchain uh, each blockchain block consists of certain data the hash of the block and hash of the previous block the data stored inside each block uh, rep uh, depends on the type of blockchain for instance uh, the bitcoin blockchain structure the block maintains data about receiver sender and amount of coins a hash is like a fingerprint long record consisting of some digital letters uh, some digits and letters each block has a uh, hash is generated with the help of a cryptographic hash algorithm SHA-256 consequently this help to identify each block uh, in a blockchain uh, structure easily 
uh, the moment uh, at, at the uh, the moment a block is created it automatically attached to attach a hash while any changes made in a block affect the change of a hash to simply stated hashes help to detect any changes in blocks the final element with the block is the hash from the previous block this creates a uh, a chain of blocks and is uh, may, uh, is the main element behind blockchain architecture security as an example block uh, 45 points to block 46 the very first block in a chain is a bit special uh, all confirmed and validated blocks are de um, derived from the genesis block any corrupt attempts provoke the blo uh, blocks to change all the following blocks then carry incorrect information and render the whole blockchain system invalid on the other hand in theory it could be possible to adjust all the blocks within with the help of a strong computer processes however there is a solution that eliminates this possibility called proof of work this allow a user to slow down the process of creation of new blocks uh, in bitcoin blockchain architecture it takes around 10 minutes to determine the necessary proof of work and add a new block to the chain this work is done by miners special nodes within the bitcoin blockchain structure miners get to help the transaction fees from the block that they verified as uh, as a reward uh, each new user not joining the peer-to-peer -peer network of blockchain received a full copy of the system once a new block is created it is sent to each node uh, within the blockchain system then each node verifies the block uh, and checks whether the information stated stated there is correct uh, if everything is all right the block is added to the local blockchain of uh, each node. Um, all the nodes inside the blockchain architecture create uh, uh, consens uh, consensus protocol. A consensus, uh, a consensus system is a set of network rules and if everyone abide by them, they become a self-enforced inside the blockchain. Uh, for example, uh, for, uh, for example, a Bitcoin blockchain has a consensus rule stating that the transaction amount must be cut in half after every 200,000 blocks. Uh, this means that if a block uh, produce a verification reward of uh, 10 bitcoins, the this value must be half by half after every 2000 uh, 200,000 blocks. Uh, as well, uh, there can only be 4 million bitcoins left to be mined since there is a maximum of 21 million BTC laid down in the Bitcoin blockchain system by the protocol. Once the miners unlock this many, the supply of Bitcoins ends unless a pot the, uh, the protocol is changed. To recap, this uh, makes the blockchain technology immutable and 
uh, cryptographically secure by eliminating any third parties it is impossible to tamper with the blockchain system as it would be necessary to tamper with all its of its blocks recalculate the proof of work uh, for each block and also control more than 50% of all the nodes in uh, in a peer to peer network and uh, here uh, you can see how uh, blockchain works in this blockchain architecture diagram here you here a transaction is requested uh, a block that represent the transaction is created in number two and uh, the, in, no, in number three the block is sent to every node in the network and in number four nodes validate the transactions and nodes received a reward for the proof of work in, in number five uh, the block is added to existing uh, blockchain in number six the transaction is complete here you can see an overview of blockchain architecture a blockchain, a blockchain is a distributed ledger of all transactions that have ever been executed. A block is a basic part of a blockchain which records some or all of the transactions occur in a uh, time period and once completed goes into the blockchain as a permanent database. A new generated block contains the most recent executed transactions block are linked to each other chain block in a proper linear chronological order with every block maintaining a hash of the previous block to use conventional banking as an analogy the blockchain is like a full history of banking transactions transactions are entered chronologically in a blockchain just the way bank transactions are meanwhile blocks are like individual bank statements the full copy of the blockchain has records of every transaction ever executed from the perspective of how the ledger is maintained blockchain can be divided into three categories which are public blockchain consortium blockchain and private blockchain respectively in public blockchain systems ledger is open to the public Everyone can be, ma uh, can be the maintainer of the ledger if they want. Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum are two typical public blockchain systems. A selected set of uh, nodes are uh, responsible for the maintenance of the ledger in consortium blockchain systems. These nodes are usually represent their own organization that constitute the consortium which cooperate for the same goal. Hyperledger fabric is most widely used consortium blockchain. As for the private blockchain system, the only nodes from the single organization have the permission to maintain the ledger. Thus the ledger is a private blockchain is fully controlled by standalone organization. Uh, blockchain has some uh, components, generally uh, some components. Generally the architecture of blockchain can be organized as five tier uh, tires which are data layer network layer uh, consensus, uh, consensus layer incentive layer and application layer as shown in this figure data layer Data layer contains the data structure of blockchain and the related techniques exploited to build such cons uh, construction. Uh, chain structure. Block is the fundamental components of blockchain. Uh, each block records transaction generated during the period uh, during a period. To provide uh, immutability of the ledger data, uh, each block record the hash of the previous block uh, 
in its block head uh, and then compute of the hash of the current block. Thus, blocks are linked linearly in chronological order. Uh, data blocks. Uh, as example of Bitcoin block structure, uh, a block is composed of a block header and block body. Uh, specifically, block header includes fields of block version, uh, Merkle tree, uh, Merkle, uh, Merkle tree root hash, time stamp, n bits, nonce, and previous block hash. Block version indicates the validation rules not to follow. Merkle root hash is composed uh, uh, Merkle root hash is computed on all the transactions in the block. Time is times records uh, uh, time is uh, time stamp records current time since January first of nineteen seventy. N bits include the validation of blocks hash. Nonce is adjusted by the miner to validate the block. Previous block hash is a 256 bit hash value that points to the previous block. Merkle tree. The Merkle tree is constructed by pairing each transaction uh, with one, one other transaction and uh, hash on them uh, the computed hashes are also paired with one other hash and hashed again such process repeat until only one hash remain that is the Merkle root uh, hash function the hash function is exploited to uh, iteratively compute the hash of a Merkle root uh, Beside each block is hashed. Uh, whose value is stored. Uh, in the following block. Uh, in this way it's almost impossible to modify the ledger once the data is written. Hash. Uh, 256 algorithm is used in Bitcoin uh, transactions there exist two kinds of transactions that is coin based transactions and common transactions coin based transactions are created by miners common transactions are generated by anyone who sends transaction proposal common transactions contain uh, the data generated from business applications. In blockchains, uh, in block uh, 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 asymmetric uh, cryptography, in blockchain systems, signature mechanism is the mainly used asymmetric cryptography. Bitcoin address uh, is derived from the public key of a signature key pair. Every transaction is signed by uh, the sender using its signature private key to prove its origin. Uh, network layer. Network layer includes the protocols uh, uh, utilized in the blockchain network. That is the peer-to-peer -peer, P2P uh, protocol exploited to construct the blockchain network. The uh, propagation protocol exploited to broadcast transaction proposals and new executed transactions and the validation protocol exploited to validate the transaction before being committed to the ledger. Uh, P2P protocol all the blockchain network nodes are organized using uh, certain P2P protocol Nodes in a P2P network has equal power and perform the same task. 
Usually, usually they have no central administrator as each node holds a copy of files acting as an individual peer a p2p protocol uh, uh, prescribes how nodes are organized p2p protocol describes the mechanism that node discovers and connects with the other peers when it start at the first time the protocol describes the strategy uh, strategy that uh, not update its connections to new peers when the connected peers are offline also the protocol describes the mechanism that a uh, not synchronizes its local data from other peers uh propagation protocol the propagation protocol is usually acted as a sub part of p2p protocol uh which perform the data synchronization tasks uh, in blockchain systems transaction proposals executed transactions or blocks are needed to be broadcast to others when uh, a node uh, in, uh, initiate or receives such data in bo- in bitcoin when a miner discovers a new block it broadcasts a new the new block to its peers using certain uh, prescribed methods uh validation protocol uh in a similar way the validation protocol is more likely to be the specifications that describe the rules that transactions are structured and how they are organized into a block uh for instance in bitcoin a miner would validate that the bitcoin of the input addresses are unspent peers would revalidate the transaction and hash value of the new added block before they append it to their local blockchain uh consensus uh, uh consensus layer the blockchain uh, blockchain is a distributed ledger different from traditional centralized ledger systems there is no central authority present to validate and verify the executed transactions nonetheless blockchain have to provide consistent ledger data to its users and this is where consensus uh, consensus comes into play the consensus is core part of any blockchain network consensus is a procedure through which all the peers in a blockchain network reach an uncommon uh, reach an common agreement on the present state of distributed uh, without centralized authority in this way blockchain network achieve reliability and construct trust among unknown peers in a distributed environment essentially the consens- uh, consensus guarantees that every new added block to each peer each peers are consistent upon which is agreed by all the peers in the blockchain network here we uh, discussed uh, several most typical consensus algorithms which are proof of work uh, proof of stake uh, delegated proof of stake practical uh, byzantine fault tolerance and raft we uh, discuss how they work in a uh, precise manner uh pow is the uh, pow is the consensus algorithm used in the bitcoin each node of uh, the network is calculating the hash value in the block header there is a random number nones in the block header that so that the miners can change to get the different hash values the consensus requires that the computed hash value must satisfied with the threshold set in the uh, n bits field once miner gets the ha- such hash value uh it has the right to generate new blocks and broadcast the ne- uh, block to others 
all all the other nodes would verify the correctness of hash value the the new block will be attached to the main block chained uh, chained by other nodes only it's uh, only it is verified uh pos po is an alternative to the pow for energy saving as uh, pos can greatly save computing resources miners must prove their ownership of the amount of tokens a user is more likely to be selected as a miner as long as he owns more tokens it is believed that the users with more tokens have less motivation to attack the network however it can ultimately lead to violate the original intention of uh, decentralization since the user who owns the most tokens can uh, dominate the network compared to uh, pow uh, po is sig uh, significantly saves energy and is more efficient thus many blockchains that adapt POW at the beginning uh, gradually transit to POS. Uh, for example, Ethereum is trying to transform it uh, from uh, Ethrash, a variant of POW, uh, to Casper, a variant of POS. Uh, DPOS. DPOS is a variant of a POS that can provide high scalability at the cost of sacrificing the full uh, decentralization characteristic. In DPOS, only a fixed number of elected nodes called block producers or witnesses are selected to produce blocks in a round robbing order. These block producers are elected by all the network uh, participants who can get a number of votes proportional to the number of tokens they own that is their stake alternatively alternatively users can choose to delegate their votes to another voter who will further vote target block producers on their behalf the the number of block producers in a dpos network depends on concrete rules of that chain block producer is possible to be voted out uh, p uh, power if it is found to be malicious in such condition voters will not vote for them in the next round by uh, signif uh, uh, by uh, uh, significantly limiting the number of blocks producer dpos gain high scalability and is able to handle transaction throughput that is multiple orders of magnitude greater than today's POW uh, today's POW however it is noted that DPOS sacrifices uh, uh, decentralization for high throughput DPOS is now exploited in the uh, bit shares uh, PBFT practical uh, uh, Byzantine fault tolerance BPFT is a replication algorithm introduced by introduced in 1999 by Barbara Lickshaw and Miguel Castro, which was designed to work efficiently in a synchronized system tolerating uh, Byzantine faults. A BPFT system can function well on the condition that maximum number of malicious nodes must less than or equal to one third of all the nodes in the system. PBFT operates in rounds which are broken into three paces request pre prepared prepared and commit in PBFT systems only one node being the primary node and others refers to as secondary nodes in each round a primary node would be selected according to some rules once the primary node receives the request from the client the primary node broadcasts the request to the secondary the nodes both primary and secondaries perform se uh, the service requested and then sent back to reply back to uh, back uh, reply to the client the requested the request is served 
successfully only the client received m plus 1 replies with the same result where m is allowed maximum number of faulty nodes. Hyperledger fabric supports uh, pluggable PBFT uh, consensus, uh, consensus module. Uh, Raft is a consensus algorithm that is designed to be easily uh, easy to understand. It's equivalent to uh, multi pexos in fault tolerance and performance. The difference is that is that it's decomposed into relatively independent subproblems and it cleanly addresses all major pieces intent, uh, needed for practical systems to enhance uh, the underst uh, to enhance the understandability raft uh, separates the key component of consensus uh, for instance the ledger election log replication etc uh, faft uses the ledger and follower model in which the ledger uh, is dynamically elected selected among the ordering service nodes the messages of the followers are replicated from the unique ledger a unique uh, leader raft system can sustain uh, the loss of nodes including the ledger node as long as there is a majority ordering nodes remaining thus raft is uh, said to be uh, crash fault tolerance hyperledger fabric supports a raft as a pluggable consen uh, consensus module uh, uh, incentive layer token is most widely used to implement the uh, the incentive mechanism in blockchain systems for example btc in bitcoin and eth in ethereum systems etc tokens use, uh, usually have monetary value which can be exchanged with legal currency it is not necessary to all kind of blockchain actually public blockchain would exploit uh, token to um, stimulate the nodes to mine the new block because it's compu uh, it's computation consuming to package transaction into new rec uh, uh, to, to the new created block in consortium blockchain the peers are usually self motivated as they work collaboratively to achieve the same goal nonetheless it is also feasible to cir uh, circulate tokens into consortium blockchain which is usually for better management of di uh, digital assets uh, the issuing and distribution of tokens are the major parts of uh, incentive mechanisms token issuing mechanism uh, uh, prescribes how the token is generated which would increase the total quantity of token token uh, distribution mechanism prescribes how the existing tokens are circulated among different users uh, in bitcoin systems the maximum and total amount of bitcoins that are ever uh, exist is 21 million right now every time a new block generates 12.5 bitcoins are issued to the miner for circulation such mining award is reduced every time 210,000 blocks are generated bitcoins can be circulated by simple money transfer from one to another bitcoin address or by transaction fee paid for miner from transaction sender token is ethereum system uh, is more complex than bitcoin uh, 72 million eth is pre-mined into circulation after that new eth are mined into circulation as block rewards uh, uncle rewards and uncle referencing rewards block rewards are given to uh, those who mines a new block on uh, uh, the main chain Uncle rewards are given to those who mines a new uncle block which are mined out lately for the blocks in the main chain. Block uh, Bitcoin completely discard these uncle blocks. Uncle referencing rewards are 
give to the miner who reference uh, who references those uncle blocks such kind of token issuing mechanism reduces the waste of computing btcs can be simply transferred from one from one to another ethereum address if a user wants his smart contract to be launched by the ethereum nodes it is his need to be attached or supporting the execution of the smart contract hyperledger fabric is more uh, widely used consortium blockchain there is no interest uh, in uh, intrinsic token in the published version nonetheless the official document declaimed that fabric is support for adding token into its system since the token is not necessarily necessary in consortium blockchain we do not uh, discuss it here uh, application layer developers can develop their business application using the underlying blockchain as the append only database such business logic is implemented using programming mechanism uh, provided provided by the by blockchain systems for example uh, script smart contract uh, chain code etc uh, script script is a mini programming language provided in bitcoin which is used to as lo a locking mechanism for bitcoins a locking script is placed on every output corresponding uh, correspondingly an unlocking script must be provided in a transaction to unlock an output when it is used as an input a script consists of two parts data and opcodes opcodes are simple functions that operate on the data uh, smart uh, contract programs that run on ethereum virtual machine are commonly uh, evm are commonly referred to as smart contract uh, solidity is the most popular language for writing smart contract on uh, ethereum smart contracts are usually consuming either when they are running they can control digital assets for creating new kinds of financial applications once smart contracts are deployed to uh, ethereum they will always run as programmed which means they cannot f be further modified a developer should deploy a new smart contract when he wants to upgrade or patch the original one uh, chain code chain code functions uh, similarly to a smart contract it is a terminology in hyperledger fabric chain code is a program written in go not dot js or java that implements a prescribed interface in hyperledger fabric chain code runs in a dependent docker container that is isolated from the other processes the blockchain ledger is initialized and managed by chain codes applications need to invoke chain codes to change the ledger state uh, dapp dapp as kind of applications that encapsulate the script smart contract or chain node which are invoked by sdk provided by an official the official or third party they can usually provide uh, user friendly interfaces to ordinary users in Ethereum gaming and exchange are the most two popular DAPPs. There are many case studies in Hyperledger Fabric which extend blockchain into more and more sectors. For example, manufacturing, healthcare, small business, supply chain, digital identity, retailers, and so on. Here you can see uh, the overview, overview of. blockchain architecture uh this architecture describe uh blockchain ar ar architecture of cryptocurrencies including bitcoins also um here you can see our application layer in uh, in it you can see uh, script smart contract 
chain called DAPP. Below that you can see a intensive layer which include the token issue mechanism and token distribution mechanism. Below that you can see consen consensus layer. In that you can see a POW, POS, DPOS, PBFT and Raft. Below that you can see network layer. It includes P2P protocol, propagation protocol and validation protocol. Below that you can see data layer. It includes a Markle tree, uh, symmetric cryptography, hash function, data blocks, transactions and chain structure. As an example, uh, uh, we can consider this, uh, this sample Python code for to explain uh, blockchain. Well, uh, blockchain as a concept rela relies heavily on hashing. Uh, the idea is that in a blockchain we have an ordered chain of blocks uh, such that each block contains follow following information hash of the previous block, list of transactions, hash uh, of itself. Uh, as an, uh, let us take an example. Consider the following simple block, uh, zero and x paid $100 to y and uh, 91b452. Uh, here, hence, there is, uh, hence uh, here since this is the first block of the blockchain the hash of the previous block is zero here uh, the list of transactions contains uh, just one transaction uh, x paid 100 dollars to y the hash and the hash of itself is computed by the by the following way here uh, hash a list of transactions uh, and uh, hash of the previous block basically here uh, in this example program uh, we combine the list of transactions and the hash of the previous block uh, as a single uh, input string and uh, feed it into the hash function uh, to get the hash if hats uh, underscore itself value
uh, as an example too we can consider this one uh, bitcoin dash cli get block and uh, this block hash here uh, bitcoin dash cli a remote procedure call client for bitcoin core bitcoin dash cli is an rpc client used to send commands to bitcoin core in a synopsis uh, bitcoin cli options command param this sends uh, commands to bitcoin core uh, the other one uh, bitcoin dash cli options help this ask bitcoin core for a list of supported commands uh, basically to ask bitcoin core for a list of supposed uh, supported comma uh, commands and uh, in uh, get blocks if uh, verbosity is zero returns a string that is serialized hex encoded data for block uh, block hash if verbosity is one returns an object with information about block hash if verbosity is two returns an object with information about block hash and information about each transaction Uh, syntax here is get block uh, block hash and verb uh, works hash verbosity as an error uh, example we can consider this uh, uh, here with uh, bitcoin dot uh, dash cli get block block hash come with this, with this command here in this particular location it's uh, we get, we get error uh, in this ex ex error example we get error called uh, minus 5 error message is a uh, block not found here you can see a uh, screenshot of linux instruction for slash user for slash local for slash bin for slash bitcoin dash qt to start uh, bitcoin core gui and here you will be prompted to choose a directory to store the bitcoin block uh, bitcoin blockchain uh, uh, and your wallet here it is mentioned that uh, mentioning that uh, as this is the first time well uh, welcome to bitcoin core this is the first time the program is launched and you can choose where bitcoin core will store its data bitcoin core will download and store a copy of bitcoin blockchain at least 20 gb of data will be stored in this directory and it will uh, grow over time this wallet will also be stored in this directory uh, here you can choose uh, use the default directory or use a custom data directory uh, here uh, as an error example too we can see uh, we can consider this blockchain error descripting wallet uh, one of the common errors uh, comes while logging into your blockchain wallet account uh, this error indicates the password uh, you are using when attempting to log in is incorrect and most probably you are using ro the wrong password. Um, now we are focusing on uh, time stamping. Uh, the time stamp or time stamp, uh, time stamp is a small data stored in each block as a unique serial and whose main function is to determine the exact moment in which the block has been mined or validated by the blockchain network. Here you can see a uh, time stamping, uh, time, st uh, time stamping. Uh, a generic data file can be hashed uh, to uh, producing a short, uh, short unique identifier equivalent to its uh, digital finger fingerprint uh such a fingerprint can be associated to a bitcoin uh, transaction uh, uh, irrelevant amount and hence uh, the registered on the blockchain uh, blockchain immu immu uh, immutability provides the time stamping providing data the file exists uh, uh, existence at the moment in time in that specific status so here you can see data file is here and 
uh, it's connected with the hash value da uh, data file is connected with the hash value uh, has fu hash function uh, is passed from data file to hash fa uh, hash value through hash function and uh, hash value is connected to the timestamp at t2 btc transaction is uh, passed through from hash value to timestamp at t2 uh, here is the uh, genesis block at t0 t1 and t2 t3 t4 uh, we can consider this example uh, here the easiest uh, application of bitcoin time uh, one of the easiest application of bitcoin timestamp is a program called open timestamp created by peter todd himself no registration is required only a small client program which you uh, download into your computer you can do it directly on their website but you should use the client for any serious use and it's just as easy for whatever file you choose to timestamp the procedure is the same uh, here we are executing this command uh, the the pro the program um, uh, here uh, We execute this command out is timestamp my new invention spec.pdf uh, and uh, uh, the program will take whatever document you give it whether a pdf or uh, a large video etc hash hash it and send to the uh, hash to their servers uh, the servers will aggregate many hashes from many clients within a certain period of time using a cryptographic structure called a Merkle tree into a single transaction. You will then receive a small uh, uh, or, uh, dot .ots file which act as a temporary placeholder called an incomplete timestamp while the block is confirmed. Here you can see uh, this uh, OTS file here. After that, uh, you will have to upgrade your uh, incomplete timestamp into a complete one. Unfortunately, the amount of time you have to wait is not fixed because bit, uh, Bitcoin block times are not de uh, deterministic approximately even 10 minutes and because the aggregation may delay until a block or two later you may have to try a couple of time a few minutes apart um, up, uh, upon successful upgrade you will receive a slightly larger but uh, uh, slightly larger but uh, um, but still under five kilobytes file which stores the uh, IDs of the block and uh, transaction as well as instruction of how to dis disaggregate your particular hash this file uh, in your timestamp simply store this file along with the original document at this point serve is no longer needed anyone who has bought the original file and the complete timestamp file uh, file can independently verify it Note that the client renames the incomplete timestamp file adding the uh, .back extension and give the complete timestamp the old OTS uh, file name. Assuming the upgrade succeeded, the .back uh, BAK file can be deleted. Uh, actual verification requires access to a Bitcoin node. It can be done on the website you can also inspect contents of the timestamp file using the client uh, info command you will see the list of the file hash the servers which perform the timestamp uh, the Bitcoin block and transaction and the exact path in the aggregated Merkle tree uh, because you are because the server only receive the hash 
your privacy is maintained because hundreds of or thousands of people hashes are aggregated into one transaction which has a fee of a few clients a few cents each they ab- absorb the cost and so the servers are offered as a public service Uh, here you can see the error message occurred uh, when running the uh, when in the second run of uh, OTS stamp v he is submitting the remote uh, calendar here is there and uh, here you can see uh, fail to create timestamp v.ots error number 17 file exist uh, v.ots as an exa- as an as an example too we can consider this code segment here uh, this is two time stamp uh, batch uh, here uh, bitcoin tool bitcoin dash tool is a simple tool written in c to convert bitcoin keys to addresses and various other conversions of keys um a simple architecture here would be to change time stamp uh, to create hashes of inputs as um, but instead of sending them off to origin stamp they are stored in a local file this file accumulate hashes from every use of time stamp that day uh, so in this script uh, step 1 here uh, archives uh, the master file uh, to a date stamp file uh, replacing it with an empty file to receive future hashes and uh, hashes uh, the archived file to yield the master hash of that batch of hashes step 3 uh, convert uh, the master hash uh, to a bitcoin address and uh, step 3 or uh, step 4 finally uh, calls a local bitcoin client like uh, client like electrum or bitcoins calls bitcoin uh, d to make one transaction to the address now we are focusing on uh, mining bitcoin mining is the process of making computer hardware do mathematical calculations for the bitcoin network to confirm transactions and increase security as a reward for their services bitcoin miners can collect transaction fees for the transactions they confirm along with newly created bitcoins mining is a specialized and competitive market where the rewards are divided up according to how much calculation is done not all bitcoin users do bitcoin mining and it is not an easy way to make money uh, here you can see a solo bitcoin mining workflow solo mining where the miner attempts to generate new blocks on his own with the proceeds from the block reward and transaction fees going entirely to himself allowing him to receive large payments with uh, higher variance longer time between payments uh, as you can see here solo miners typically use bitcoin d to get new transaction from the network their mining software uh, 
periodi periodically pulls bit uh, Bitcoin D for new uh, transaction using get, uh, get block template RPC which provide the list of new transactions plus the public key to which the Coinbase transaction should be sent. Uh, mining software construct a block using the template and creates a block header. Uh, it then sends the 80 byte block header to its mining hardware ASIC and ASIC along with the target threshold a difficulty setting. The mining software iterates through very every possible value for the block header nonce and generates the corresponding hash. If none of the hashes are below the threshold, the, minings of, the mining hardware gets an updated block header with the new Merkle root from the mining software. This new, the new block header is created by adding extra nonce the data to the Coinbase field of the Coinbase transaction. On the other hand, if the hash, if a hash is found below the target threshold, the mining hardware returns the block header with successful nonce to the mining software. Uh, the mining software combines the header with the block and uh, sent to the completed uh, block to Bitcoin D to be broadcast to the network for the addition to the blockchain. Here you can see here PTP, P2P uh, network interacts with Bitcoin D. Bitcoin D interacts with uh, mining software. Mining software interact with ASIC. Uh, so transactions are pa passed from P2P network to Bit Bitcoin D uh, block template is passed from Bitcoin D to mining software and uh, block headers and targets are passed from mining software to A ASIC headers which are below targets are passed from A SIC to mining software and blocks are passed from mining software to Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin D and blocks are passed from Bitcoin D to P2P network. Now we are for, uh, we, now you, you can see pool based Bitcoin mining workflow. Pool mining where the miner pools resources with other miners to find blocks more often. With the proceeds you, uh, being shared among the pool miners in rough correlation to the amount of hashing power they each contributed, allowing the miner to receive small payments with the lower variance. Uh, shorter time between payments. Pool miners follow the uh, follow a similar workflow uh, illustrated here, which allows mining pool operators uh, to pay miners based on their share of the network. Uh, share of the work done. The mining pool gets a new transaction from the network using uh, uh, Bitcoin D. Using one of the methods, uh, each miner's mining software connects to the pool uh, and requests the information it needs to construct block headers. Uh, in pool mining, the mining pool uh, sets the uh, target threshold a few orders magnitude higher, less difficult than the network difficulty. Uh, this causes the mining uh, hardware uh, to return many blocks headers which don't hash to a value eligible for inclusion on the blockchain but which do hash below the pool's target. Uh, providing on average that miner checked a percentage of the possible hash values. Uh, miner then send the pool of a copy of 
the information that needs to validate the that the header uh, will hash below the target and the block of the transaction referred by the merkle root field uh, is valid for the pool purposes uh, this usually means the coinbase transaction must pay the pool uh, the information the miner sends to the uh, pool is called a share because it's uh, uh, proves the miner did the share of the work by chance some shares the pool received will also below the network target the mining pool sends this to the network to be added uh, to the blockchain uh, a block reward and transaction fees that come from the mining that block the, that blocks are paid to the mining pool uh, the mining pool pays out the portion of these proceeds to individual miners based on how many share shares they generated for example if the mining pool's target threshold is 100 times lower than the network target threshold 100 shares will need to be generated on average to create successful block so the mining pool can pay 100 of its payout for each share received uh, different mining pools use different reward distribution systems based on the basic share system uh, here you can see uh, p2p network interacts with mining pool mining pool interacts with mining software mining software interacts with as as i see transactions are passed from p2p network to mining pool prototype block is passed from mining pool to mining software Block headers and targets are passed from mining software to ASIC. Headers below target are pa uh, passed from ASIC to mining software. Shares are passed from mining software to mining pool. Blocks are passed from mining pool to P2P network. Here uh, we can see a sample code in Python to find the golden nonce. Uh, nonce in cryptography the nonce is the arbitrary number that can be used just once in cryptographic communication it is a similar in spirit to a nonce word hence the name the nonce is the bit uh, bitcoin block is a 32 bit 4 byte field whose value is adjusted by miners so that the hash of the block will be less than or equal to the current target of the network rest of the fields may not be changed as they have defined meaning it is important to raise the block generation is not a long uh, set problem like doing a million hashes but more like a lottery each cache basically generate a random number between one to uh, one and the maximum value of two five six bit number each a huge huge uh, if the corresponding hash is below the target the miner wins if not the miner needs to increase increment the nonce completely changing the hash and try again therefore the process requires a huge amount of computing power uh, in this example here uh, here uh, uh, generating uh, mining start time variable uh, that shows the start time is for us to see how long it takes to find uh, golden nonce or mine a block with the target set compared to the time uh, when we find the golden uh, nuns current time uh, my uh, minus uh, start time is the time taken we will show uh, the nuns hash of the block header and uh, here we will show the nuns and hash of the block header and uh, hash rate uh, per second uh, every 5000 times the loops runs
uh, for every 50000 times the roof plans uh for for every loop we try a larger nuns uh value until the golden nuns is found or nuns value reaches uh uh for billion 294 million uh, 967000 and uh, to 296 uh, can set a larger value uh, with the smaller target uh, if the block header block uh, it's a block header hash is uh, smaller than the uh, target has uh, target is smaller than the target the loop will be broken with the uh, success uh, message the nuns that satisfy the condition is the golden nuns uh, this is an example of trying different nuns values to see if we get a hash value that is smaller than the target system, target given here uh, uh, here we start a small nuns and uh, try a bigger nuns every time the loop runs of course it can be uh, other methods to try out different nuns values such as to randomly select a nuns member number in a range or to start with the large number and try a smaller value in every round once the target is met miners can broadcast the new block they find to the network if recognized uh more miners will use this block as uh, as the latest block can calculate the hash value of the next block to mine another new block successful miners can collect the reward generated with the new block and the transaction uh, fees via the transaction included in and confirmed with the block this is an economic incentive for miners to keep bitcoin network running as an uh, example two we can consider this one uh, bitcoin dash cli generate to address 11 my address uh, generate to address mine blocks immediately to a specific address before the rpc call returns uh, syntax is uh, generate to address in blocks address and matrices so here generate to uh, gener- generate to address n blocks address and matrices uh here's the as an error example you can see the error message just produced from following commands Bit- uh, bitcoin uh, bitcoin d dash uh, reg test bitcoin dash uh, cli generate to address 50 and this uh, likewise and here you can see invalid chain found in my invalid block uh and height log dot work log two dot work underscore work and date etc as an example three there are these are the steps for to bitcoin mining setup on uh slash pool you can see the address here a web address and uh, step one uh, get suitable hardware Bitcoin can be eff- uh, efficiently mined with ASIC SHA-256 algorithm. Bitcoin cannot be efficiently mined with unsupported GPU uh, CPU mobile phone. Uh, and uh, here you can uh, step 2 sign up for a slash pool account. You can use existing account if you have one. A single account can be used to mine all supported cryptocurrencies. a joint pool sign up and wait for a confirmation email log on to your account and uh, step 3 configure your mining device uh individual hardware manufacturers may use may have specific settings requirements and different setting interfaces please follow their 
official documentation when setting up your miners uh, your miner must be connected to to one of uh, pool services and uh, remember to configure the user credentials in uh, to your account uh, step 4 register your payout address to collect your reward you have to set up a payout address in the settings then collect a disk coin then payout menu once you reach the minimum threshold your rewards will be sent there you can start mining mining even without this address being registered but it is highly recommended that you register it straight away uh, step 5 check uh, if you are mining open your dashboard on the mining tab for the coin that you are mining uh, then check your hash rate in the recent hash rate graph section section then check your hash rate in the recent hash rate graph section please uh, uh, be patient it can take up to an hour until you see the full hashing power of your newly connected device uh, as an error example too we can consider this error from in uh, nice hash miner this error uh, occurred uh, error occurred during benchmark bitcoin talk.org image proxy invalid image uh, now we are focusing on wallets uh, a bitcoin wallet is loosely the equivalent of a physical wallet on the bitcoin network the wallet actually contains your private keys which allow you to spend the bitcoins allocated to it in the bit, uh, blockchain each bitcoin wallet can show you the total balance of all bitcoins it controls and let you pay a specific amount to a specific person just like a real wallet this is the this is uh, this is different to credit cards where you are charged by the merchant here you can see full service wallet um, the simplest wallet is a program which perform all uh, uh, three functions it generates uh, private keys derives the corresponding public key pu public keys help uh, distribute those public keys as necessary monitors for outputs spent to those public keys create and signs transaction spending those inputs the spending those outputs uh, and uh, broadcast signed transactions uh, the main advantage of full service wallet is that they are easy to use a single program does everything the user needs to receive and spend uh, satoshis uh, the main disadvantage of full service wallet is that they store the private keys on the device connected to the internet the comprise of such devices is a common occurrence and the an internet connection make it easy to trans Pub, uh, private keys from compromised device to an attacker uh, to to help protect against theft many wallet programs offer users and uh, the option to enc uh, of encrypting the wallet files which contains the private keys this protects the private keys when they aren't being used but it cannot protect against an attack designed to capture the encryption key or to read the decrypt keys from the memory here you can see a uh, create private keys connect uh, is connected to derived public keys derived public keys is connected to distribute public keys distribute public keys is connected to monitor for outputs monitor for output is connected to create unsigned taxes uh, transactions uh, create unsigned transaction is connected to signed transactions sign transaction uh, are connected to broadcast transactions
now you can see here sign uh, uh, signing only wallets uh, to increase security private keys can be uh, generated and stored by a separate wallet program operating uh, in a more secure environment this signing only wallets work in conjunction with a network wallet which interact with peer to peer network um, signing only wallets program typically use uh, deterministic key creation to create pair and private and public keys which can create child private and public keys when the first run the sign, uh, signing only wallet creates a, a, a parent private key and transfer the corresponding parent public key to the network uh, wallet uh the network uh, the network wallet uh, uses parent public key uh, to derived child public keys optionally help the distribute them monitors for output output spent uh, to those public keys creates uh, unsigned transaction spending those outputs and transfer the unsigned transaction to the signing only wallet often users are given a chance to review the unsigned transactions uh, details particularly the output details using the signing only wallet um after the optional review step the signing only wallet uses the parent uh, private key uh, to derive appropriate child private keys uh, and uh, sign the transactions giving the signed transaction back to the uh, network wallet network wallet then broadcast uh, the signed transaction to the peer to peer network uh, most common uh, to uh, uh, where uh, to, to com uh, variants of sign only wallets are offline wallets and hardware wallet uh, wallets here uh, you can see uh, create parent private key is connected to derive public a parent public key here you can see network wallet area uh, derived uh, parent public key is connected to derived child public keys and derived pi uh, child public keys is connected to distribute public keys and distribute public keys is connected to monitor for outputs monitor for output is connected to create unsigned taxes create unsigned taxes uh, transactions uh, is created to sign transactions sign transactions is connected to broadcast uh, transactions here you can see distributing only wallets uh, wallet programs which run on run in difficult to secure environments such as web servers can be designed to distribute public keys including p2p uh, kh or p2sh addresses and nothing more there are two common ways to design these uh, minimalized wallets uh, one way is uh, pre populate database with a number of public keys or addresses uh, then distribute on uh, request a pub key script or addresses uh, using one of the database entries to uh, to avoid key re uh, reuse web server should keep track of use keys and never run out of public keys this can be made uh, easier by using parent uh, 
public keys as uh, suggests in the ne uh, next method the next method is uh, the uh, next method is uh, use a parent public key to create child public key keys to avoid key re uh, reuse a method must be used to ensure the same public key is distributed twice this can be a database entry for each key distributed or incrementing pointer to the key index number uh, neither of well, uh, neither methods add a significant amount of overhead especially if a database is used anyway to associate each incoming payment with a separate public key for payment tracking uh, here you can see a uh, create parent private keys connected to derive uh, derive parent public key derive parent public keys connected to derive child public keys uh, derived child public keys is connected to distribute public keys distribute uh, and here you can see other wallets uh, distribute public keys is connected to monitor for outputs monitor for output is connected to uh, create unsigned transactions create unsigned transaction is connected to sign transactions sign transactions is connected to broadcast uh, transactions here uh, you can see a program designed to find vanity address addresses in C++ generating a vanity address is a brute force exercise uh, try a random key check resulting address to see if it matches the design pattern repeat until successful uh, this uh, this code segment uh, shows an example of vanity miner program designed to find vanity addresses written in C++ uh, the example uses lib bitcoin library which uh, yeah uh, this example code must be uh, compiled in uh, c compiler uh, and linked against the lib bitcoin library which must be first installed in that system here you can see uh, loop continuously here and I loop here generate ra a random uh, secret here and get the address here and does it match our searching string here match found address and this is successful found the vanity address secret secret here and uh, should never reach this uh, this uh, should should never reach here as an error example you can see uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, an error occurred in Coinbase Python API error failed to send money. Uh, it's uh, in uh, the library Coinbase Python library. You can see this one API error failed to send money. As an example, too, you can we can consider this one Bitcoin dash CLI get wallet info. Uh, here get wallet info returns an object containing various wallet state info as an uh, error example too we can consider the error occurred after executing this command bitcoin cli backup wallet backup dot dat and uh, error code minus four error message error the wallet backup failed and uh, so log in the uh, title forward slash dot bitcoin forward slash bit, uh, debug dot log if you check the log you can um, uh, we might see this message uh, error copying wallet to uh, wallet dot dat to backup dot dat uh, boost colon colon file system colon colon copy file permission denied uh, as an example three we can consider in uh, Coinbase and uh, they are how to set up a hosted wallet step one uh, choose a platform you trust your main consideration should be security easy of use and compliance with government and financial regulation step two create your account enter your personal info and choose a secure password it's also recommended to use two-step verification also called 2FA for extra for an extra layer of security uh, 
as an error example three we can consider this error in uh, bit pay this error means that the funds available in your uh, the insufficient funds this error means that the funds available in your wallet are lower than the recommended bitcoin miner fee level for getting a transaction added to the bitcoin blockchain confirmed uh, this is uh, end of my presentation thank you very much for uh, watching it